pick them up. Yeah, I beg your pardon? Hand over your dough and make it snappy. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but all my cash is tied up in the USSDP. What's that? The Uniform Services Savings Deposit Program. Each month, I deposit that portion of my pay I won't spend. And get this, my savings earn 10% interest. 10%? Compounded quarterly. Hey, that's more than I'm making in this racket. How do I get some? See your personal affairs or finance officer. Getting an allotment is your first step in getting started. Gee, thanks. Well, I'll uh, see you later. Gee, I wonder who that masked filler was. I don't know. still offers the chance of opportunity to all people, regardless of race or nationality, if they have the will to succeed in a democratic society. This pledge by our forefathers almost 200 years ago is still around, and America is still the land of the free and the home of the brave. If you give it different names, the world, home, stateside, they're all describing one place, good old U.S. of A. Yes, America is a big land with huge responsibilities, not only at home, but around the world as well. America, with 7% of the world's land area and 6% of its population, accounts for one-third of the world's production of goods and services. Its farmlands produce 13% of the world's wheat, nearly half of its corn and 21% of its meat, enough to feed 200 million Americans and much of the world besides. And despite criticism of policies and people, our country is looked up to for leadership throughout the free world. Why bring all this up? No reason. We thought you'd just like to hear something about your world once in a while. What was your opinion of Sydney? Wow, you wouldn't believe the scene down there, man. Unbelievable. Windows are really good. Wow. I don't know. I just got hung up on the total thing. It's the cleanest city I've ever seen in my life. Nothing but short skirts and hair lines. I had to raise all my hair lines six inches just to keep up. I've never seen so many good-looking babes. Beautiful people and beautiful colors. They got some great entertainment. I've never seen so many pubs, girls, legs. Oh, talk about friendly people. Great places to go. I've been traveling around the world for 45 years, and no place has excited me more. It goes on and on. That's what people say about Sydney that know. People that have been there. People with a head on their shoulders who know how to relax and get lost in the enjoyment of civilization. Take your R&R &R in Sydney. See the man today. Currency black marketeering does not pay. Recently, 14 persons were apprehended in one day attempting to make illegal purchases of traveler's checks. These men face a possible sentence of two years confinement at hard labor, a dishonorable discharge, total forfeiture of all pay and allowances, and reduction to the lowest grade. This is part of MACV's continuing effort to eliminate currency manipulations. Don't become involved in the illegal purchase of traveler's checks. It weakens the struggling economy of Vietnam, and it's not worth two years of your life. I am the buttons. 
snatcher. I pray on unsuspecting servicemen who, contrary to service regulations, walk around with their buttons undone. Every unbuttoned button drives me so insane that I must have it for my very own. I won't be satisfied until I have every button in the whole world. I want yours next! Don't let the button snatcher strike you. Check yourself out. It's your uniform. Wear it right. Many newcomers to Vietnam are startled when they see a member of the Revolutionary Development Cadre wearing black pajamas. Revolutionary Development Cadre teams are trained in the special skills relating to farmers and their families. They learn how to provide for Hamlet security, how to institute democratic government, and how to provide for services of the government of Vietnam available to farm folk. In order to perform their function, it is essential they be identified with and accepted by the farmers of Vietnam. Therefore, it is understandable that the Revolutionary Development Cadre uniform matches the farmer's work clothes, black pajamas. Revolutionary Development Cadre teams also wear a distinctive blue and gold insignia over the left breast. This insignia symbolizes the Cadre's devotion to a nation and people. Remember this blue and gold insignia and this important fact. Revolutionary Development Cadre are allies. Hi, this is Chris Noel. You know, there are times in every family when an emergency occurs. When it does, you want to be there, and as soon as possible. So the next time you write home, tell the folks about the Red Cross verification systems. All your family has to do in event of an emergency is contact the local Red Cross and ask that you be notified. Plan ahead. Chu Hoi means open arms. The Chu Hoi program has given the former enemy an opportunity to become a useful citizen. Each Chu Hoi returnee means less firepower for the enemy, and you can do your part. Treat the returnees well, and be sure to issue a receipt for any weapons turned in. For continued success, it's your responsibility to know and understand the rules of the Chu Hoi program. Department of Defense, U.S. Bureau of Customs, and the U.S. Post Office Department are concerned about contraband matter found in the mail. Military ordnance, weapons, and ammunition, and pyrotechnics are examples of contraband matter recently confiscated during postal and customs inspections. In the mail, this constitutes a serious offense. Many of us in the Republic of Vietnam have easy access to contraband matter. Some of us attempt to mail it home as souvenirs or for other reasons. Contraband matter is not mailable. It presents a clear danger to postal, customs, and transportation authorities and their personnel. It also endangers the equipment and other mail. Parcels are inspected in U.S. postal and customs channels through the use of electronic detection devices and physical examinations. Postal offenders are subject to severe fines and imprisonment. This is self-defense lesson number one. Keep your head clean. Because of the heat and humidity, and of course the dirt that surrounds you, it's a good move to keep your hair short and clean. It'll help you prevent dandruff and scalp infections. It's also good self-defense. Now it's practice time. Say you're in your hooch or your friendly neighborhood bunker relaxing. You scratch your head. Suddenly you see flakes of white mixed with dirt float in front of your face. Quickly leap to your feet, get into your Kia position and yell, this self-defense lesson was brought to you by your local AFVN Self-Defense Department. The word is out. The dirty dozen are not allowed in the mail. No laugh. Firearms, poison, explosives, flammable material, narcotics, alcoholic beverages, contraband, infernal machines, and combustionable chemicals are not allowed in the mail. If you were paying attention, you noticed that I only named nine of the dirty dozen. You also aren't allowed to mail a deuce and a half, a pretty Vietnamese girl, or yourself. Mailing any of the dirty dozen is a postal offense, period. 
new bowling alley or gymnasium is quite a thing here in Vietnam. A lot of planning and money goes into the production of recreational facilities for the fighting man in this country. Do you know that part of these funds come from the serviceman himself? Yes, six cents out of every dollar you spend in your Vietnam regional exchange outlet, snack bar, and cafeteria goes toward the facilities you use every day. Your service club, library, hobby shop, day room, you name it. Support your Vietnam regional exchange, and ultimately the benefits come back to you, the man who deserves them. Uh, Old-timer, you can't possibly be the guy they sent down to help me with uh, the detail. That's right there, specialized. Been in the Army 40 years, and they finally gave me some sea duty. By time, too, by cocky. Uh-huh. Well, listen, what we got to do here is put all these these packages marked fourth class uh, on the boat. These are all fourth class packages, huh? Right. Well, see, what, what's happening is they're sending all fourth class mail back to the States by surface now. Oh, uh, by boat, huh? I'm not sending it by air anymore. I see. Well, what if I want to send the package home and I want it to get there faster than four or six weeks? Well, then you can send it by air mail. Just uh, you mark uh, Sam or Powell, and that'll do it for you. Yeah, I see. If yeah. you have any questions about it, just talk uh -huh. to your unit mail clerk. You uh, got it? I'll do that. Yes, sir. Okay, start tossing these okay. packages down let's, here. Uh, let's get these packages here on this rowboat. Oh, no. Well, yeah, it, it might take two trips. How safe are you when you're rolling a J? How about when you're completely wrecked or stoned? You probably think you have to be heavy if you smoke the weed. This is James Franciscus, and you probably think I've got a lot of nerve talking down to you. Believe me, I'm not. I'm just giving you some questions. You'll have to supply the answers. Don't learn them the hard way. Remember, in a combat zone, how heavy is dead. soldiers, such as myself, in the States, had to go to private companies. Wars overseas found themselves unable to get a loan at all. How awful. But not anymore, because soldiers can obtain a smaller loan at an annual interest rate of 12% or less, which compares to about 18% or higher normally offered by small loan companies. Now, go get yourself a loan if you need it. The sound of one unhappy foot. <coughs> Sounds of two unhappy feet. A very dangerous sign indeed. Keep your feet dry, change socks daily, and use that foot powder. Make a foot happy today! And your feet will love you forever. <laughs> Who behold it with a 
pleasure beyond all compare. Hong Kong has everything for the traveler as well as the student of life. The Kowloon Canton Railroad, the Star Ferry, famous Hong Kong tailors. The foods are a gourmet's delight. Hong Kong. And if it's nightlife you want, the action doesn't start until nine at night, and the excitement rips until dawn. See Hong Kong on your R and R. From Andre Island, this is AFE at FM 99.9 The Twang. A Jeep is a hard thing to misplace, but not hard to lose. Whenever you are responsible for a military vehicle, lock it up if possible, take the keys with you, and try to keep an eye on it. And be especially careful whenever you park outside of a military compound. Save yourself some grief. Don't tempt the thieves. You know, it's a proven fact that a passionate person is more susceptible to mosquito bites. Now, since we're all here and we're all alone, our passion surely grows. Thus, our susceptibility to mosquito bites grows equally. Some mosquitoes in Vietnam carry malaria, something no passionate person wants. Take your malaria pills and a cold shower and wait for D-Rose. the right number to call. says the name tags on your fatigue uniforms must slant down along the tops of the pockets. So get with it. Get it on as soon as you can. AFBN News, compiled from commercial and military news agencies. This is Radio 99.9, AFEN FM. At 99.9 on your dial, this is AFEN FM. At this time, AFVN-FM ceases separate programming for today. We invite you to stay tuned to this frequency, which will carry AFVN-AM programming until 0600 hours tomorrow.
Plague shot, take one. Announcing the plague shot. Get one every six months. Yeah, that's pretty good, Al, but let's hear what we're announcing. Announcing the plague shot. Get one every six months. Better, better, but give me more emphasis on what we want them to do. Announcing the plague shot. Get one every six months. Pretty good, but we're not getting how often. Announcing the plague shot. Get one every six months. That's it, but now let's hear announcing. Announcing the plague shot. Get one every six months. Uh, I don't know, Al. Could you try to make it just a little more natural? Hang in your ear. <laughs> Just plain old happy. Why are you happy? Well, it's very simple, really. I have financial security, babes. And how did you manage financial security? It's very simple, really. That, too. I buy U.S. savings bonds through the payroll savings plan. Does that really work? Does it work? Yeah. Listen, the money is automatically set aside for my paycheck before I even see it much less have a chance to spend it. I've got to save it. That's all there is to it. Why are you saving money? I'm saving money, man, for a rainy day. I guess I'll save savings bonds, too. Here's Herbie and the Amps for U.S. Savings Bonds. Hi, this is Herbie. Herbie and the Amps? Say, this week, join the payroll savings plan and start United States Savings Bonds. This plan really works for people who can't save money because you choose the amount you want saved. And it's automatically set aside from your paycheck each month. It makes savings a whole lot easier because it's being done for you, by you. Join the payroll savings plan now before another week goes by. up and down just outside the legal limit of a foreign nation. On board are sophisticated sounding devices and modern radio equipment. Is this ship using its electronic equipment to locate fish? It's comparatively easy to spy on the open sea, but to penetrate security barriers is more difficult, unless someone disregards security regulations. The outcome of wars and the course of world history has changed because people who should have known better were careless. If you lose your ID card, getting it replaced is not too difficult. However, try losing your shot record and see what happens. If you're like most people, shots aren't one of your favorite things. Regardless of the modern techniques in medicine today that make shot getting almost painless, they still are no fun. In some cases, the only records of the shots that you've received are kept on your shot card. Obviously, if you lost it, these shots will all have to be received over again. That in itself should be enough reason for you to keep track of your shot record. If the sun is set on the British Empire, the last lingering rays remain to touch the streets and shops of Singapore. Singapore is quite possibly the most festive city in the Orient, and it should be visited only by a man of the world. A man who can blend into his cosmopolitan Creep, creep, creep. Snakes creep. 
But usually they don't bother you unless you do some creeping yourself. To get bitten by a snake, all you have to do is sneak up on one and try to grab it. Unfortunately, the snake is sometimes faster than the hand. If you do get bitten, kill the snake if possible and bring it with you to the nearest medic or doctor. The dead snake will help him to determine what kind of serum to give you. The best advice, however, is not to get bitten in the first place. space available isn't. The people who run the military airline system want all servicemen to know that often there's a long wait for space available transportation, and waiting can be expensive. The regs say passengers must have sufficient funds to pay for commercial transportation before taking a leave. The military airlift command is more than happy to give you a ride when space is available, but if it isn't, be prepared to pay your own way aboard civilian aircraft. Travis Air Force Base, California. May I have your attention, please? Overseas replacements and duty status personnel booked on flight G243 for Ben Ma and Saigon may now board from gate one. All aboard, please. You may have noticed she didn't say anything about space available. That's because there usually isn't any. So if you go back for leave, don't plan on flying out of Travis by Space A. You may end up paying for your own flight. Pacific Stars and Stripes, a task which I am most willing to perform. I find the Stars and Stripes to be most pleasurable reading material. It helps you to keep abreast of important world happenings. For those of you interested in sports in the entertainment world, there's ample information concerning those topics too. Yes, I find the Pacific Stars and Stripes to be of invaluable assistance to servicemen away from home. <laughs> now I say, yes, the girls on the back page aren't bad either. Did you know that Penelope Ash, the author of the bestseller Naked Came the Stranger, is really ten middle-aged businessmen? Where'd you see that? In the Stars and Stripes. I read recently that Pope Paul VI donated $15,000 for the neediest, injured, and disabled children of South Vietnam. Yeah? Where'd you see that? Stars and Stripes. Hey, White Rock State beat Phillipsburg University yesterday. You're kidding. Where'd you see that? In the Stars and Stripes. The Stars and Stripes, your newspaper with special features like national bestseller lists, editorials by Andrew Tully and Joseph Kraft, and complete box scores of all current sports. The Stars and Stripes, doing the tough job of keeping you informed seven days a week. The Stars and Stripes, it's for you and five of your buddies. Most people in the Detrang, Cameron, and Canrang area know that on Fridays, the Stars and Stripes does not print a picture of a girl on its next-to-last page. They know that on Fridays, they can turn to the next-to-last page and find the AFEN television schedule for the following week. But there appear to be those of us in the crowd who just don't know that simple fact as of yet. What? That no girl! No girl! Maybe she's in a comic section. No, she's not there either. Centerfold, sure. If it's good enough for Playboy, why not the Stars and Stripes? No, not in the centerfold. Rats! Oh, well, what's on TV anyway? It's pretty obvious that nobody knows 
knows your job like you do, the guy who's doing it. Maybe you know a way it can be done better with the savings of time, money, or manpower. Don't sit on your good idea. Spell it out in writing and submit it to your services suggestion program. The military pays hard cash for good ideas. Scores of servicemen have been awarded thousands of dollars for suggestions which have resulted in savings of millions. Do yourself and your service a favor. Cash in on your good idea. What have you got to lose? How would you like to be given as much as $25,000? You can, and here's how. No one knows a job as well as the man or woman who does it. Take a good, close look at your job. Think of ways to improve it. If your suggestion will improve the present method, you can win anywhere from $15 to $25,000. Don't sit on your ideas. Sell them to your services suggestion program. A Taipei r and r through the eyes of the fifth dimension. That's the maximum amount of MPC you're allowed to have at any one time. And you'd better be able to account for where you got that. If there's a currency change or you leave the country, don't be left holding the bag. A bag full of unauthorized MPC. Check with your unit command for details. special mystery and rhythm to the Orient. And in Tokyo, you can share this experience for six days and nights. Take advantage of r r in the world's largest city. It's an even better bargain this year with Expo 70, bringing visitors to Japan from all over the world. You can take in the city at your own pace. From the nightlife on the Ginza, to quiet restaurants and exciting gift shops. Start planning now. See your r and &R counselor today. Hey, do you want to go back to the world? Well, sure you do. We have no special formula for getting you there faster. But while you're in Vietnam, you can visit a worldly place. As a matter of fact, we like to call it the next best thing to home. Send flowers home. Have a milkshake, catch a floor show, or just sit down, or make a phone call home. USO, 17 locations from Da Nang to the Delta. It's your little corner of the world. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Do you want to go home to see your wife or your girlfriend? Sure you do, and so do I. But casualties inflicted by the enemy would be the first thing to stop you. Did you know that VD is the second? Avoiding the source is the most ideal way. But I know some of you won't listen to that. The only other way is immediate medical attention. If you're worried, see your medic. I'm coming home. I'm coming home.
Okay, buddy, stick them up. Yeah, I beg your pardon? Hand over your dough and make it snappy. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but all my cash is tied up in the USSDP. What's that? The Uniform Services Savings Deposit Program. Each month, I deposit that portion of my pay I won't spend. And get this, my savings earn 10% interest. 10%? Compounded quarterly. Hey, that's more than I'm making in this racket. How do I get some? See your personal affairs or finance officer. Getting an allotment is your first step in getting started. Gee, thanks. Well, I'll, uh, see you later. Gee, I wonder who that masked filler was. I don't know.